stinks. Decomposing flesh. Human flesh. Sweetened. Shallow, but severed his artery. What are you holding? A key. Interesting. Kept running. Till he bled to death. Clear trail. Bled heavily. They say some which is fine. Hey, mate. Someone invite you here? No. Followed a trail of human blood. So you found our pal Derek? day looking for him, and all I got out of it was a stroll and some dog shit on my shoes. Soiled me fine as poolings. Snake skin. Take a gander. What are you gabbing for? Cleaver said it clear. Anyone finds our den, shove him between the ribs and drop him in the gutter. Think, Grun. Just once use your fucking melon. If the witch has found the body, he's found the key too. Can't open the drop box without the key. We don't open the drop box. Cleaver don't get what he ordered. Cleaver don't get what he ordered. He gets angry. You want that? <laughs> Didn't think so. So, eh, uh, hark here, mate. You got two options. First, give us the key. I pay you for your trouble and everyone goes their own way smiling. Second, make a fuss. We do what Grun wants. Sit between your ribs. Two things only the greatest fools do. Throw stones at hornets' nests, and threaten a witcher. What are you keeping, Bobby? Miss your Zoltan, you old bum? What's this? Have me even drunk of water? Naughty bum. Now repeat. Save a lay crackers. Ah, you're back! You met, Poppy? If you want to start talking any day now. That Field Marshal Duda's replacement? The Marshal was a parrot, you do remember, right? Where'd you get her? At auction. Some mage's estate went under the hammer. 
Witch hunters and the eternal fire joined forces, staked out his place and rounded the sorry sap up, put his things up for sale. Happened to be passing by and saw this out. Came with her own cage. How could you resist? Couldn't he? It weren't possible. Ach, but dandelions what matters now. So, how'd you do? Learn much? Tell me what you've got first. A few bruises and a torn doublet. Otherwise, not much a note. He wasn't staying with any of them. He'd not seen hiding or hair of him in ages. All I learned was a few of Dandelion's pickup lines. A dubious worth. Let's hear him. I'm all ears. I uh, know how he wooed a last study in natural history. Asked her about the habits of trolls. <laughs> you know where he went with the cook from the Passiflora? The Oxenford Novigrad Road, which is just now being repaired. He'd have stayed for hours as laborers crushed boulders into cobblestones. Tried to pass it off as a romantic outing. I don't know about human woman, but that would bore a dwarf and last to tears. He's growing old, that poet of ours. Maybe. Or maybe he did all that for a reason. Sounds like you found something out. Women on my list hadn't seen Dandelion in a while. All claimed he had been acting strange. Also mentioned he'd been seeing someone else. Thing is, Mystery Woman wasn't on my list. What's she supposedly like, this lass? Blonde, from Kovir. A Troberitz, apparently. Named Kalanetta or something like that. Uh, that makes it clear as crystal. It's Priscilla. Aye. Must be her. Who's this Priscilla? A Troberitz, like you said. Quite popular of late. Picks up Dandelion with a pair of tits and you've got the general idea. Interesting image. So how'd Dandelion handle meeting his female double? I think he fell in love. What can I say? Could be he finally met his match. She's his match, all right. Maybe more? The laddie's head's on fire. Lassie's got him whirling. All right. Guess we gotta talk to her. Priscilla works for the Mummers Troupe. Reynard and the Foxen. Whenever they're in town, she performs nightly at the Kingfisher. You mean we've been sentenced to an evening of poetry? Must you always? This'll be true poetry, Geralt. You'll see. Courage to repeat that slander to my face? Readily. You are a mutant. A freak. A useless relic of a bygone age that should be burned like a withered branch. How many people's lives have you saved? From Brooksay? From Leshens? That has no bearing. Asked you a question. How many? There's something to think about, folks. Preacher's fierce in the mouth. Put all her at him and his tail slinks between his legs. Come on, people. Yes? You look familiar.
Ah, here already. Come on, let's find some arse rests. Should start soon. boys back at White Orchard. Silence, woman. We've come to hear music. A murderer? There's a war on. Some die. Oh, please, argue this out elsewhere. Squabbles and rows again. And I was told this was a decent establishment. If I know Geralt, he risked his noggin to save someone else's arse. Save, you say? He murdered folk. Don't let him provoke you. 
There's the door. Settle this outside. Come. I wish to listen to music. Music! Cultural capital of the world? The fuck it is! Permit me to introduce uh, this year's Priscilla, known also as Calinetta, as lovely as she is talented. And this... Is Geralt of Rivia, I know. Dandelion's told me a great deal about you, and I've listened with bated breath. Don't be surprised. After all, doubt I could think of a more fitting subject for a ballad than a witch's love for a sorceress. Or should I say, sorceresses. Seems Dandelion was meticulous in telling my story, down to personal and insignificant details. Did he offer anything about himself, like where he was going? <laughs> Splendid. Very funny, truly. So, see you later. Not here. Come with me. There a reason for all this sneaking around? An excellent one. When last I saw Dandelion, he told me he was planning a heist. Siggy Reuven's vault? Shit up. And I've not seen him since. Reuven. What's he like? Tall, fat, dangerous as hell. Limp in his gait. Left leg. Sounds like a lame rock troll. If trolls were devilishly intelligent and had a flair for crime, yeah, I'd agree. Dandelion breaking into a vault. I'd sooner expect him to choose a life of celibacy. True. Forgot to pay for his way into Passaflora once. I need to wait the next three nights worrying about it. Any idea what got into him? You have debts he needed to pay off? He claimed he was helping someone. Urgent matter that couldn't wait, he said. This someone. Dandelion mentioned their name. No. But if I know Dandelion, it's her name he failed to mention as he failed to mention her slender waist and ample bosom. Let me guess. Attempted heist was a failure. Well, he's not driven up in a gilded carriage laden with jewels, so I should think so. I've asked after him everywhere, but it seems an army of tongue-stealing cats has overrun the city. I learned only that he raised a ruckus at Horson Jr.'s lair. Then Horson's men chased him all over town. Horson Jr. doesn't ring a bell. Biggest prick in Novigrad. Not literally, but... Got it. You're not a fan. But what did he do to you? Try the whole town. He's one of four bosses who control the city's underworld. The others being Siggy Reuven, Carlo the Cleaver Vares, and the King of Beggars. The rascal. At least they didn't cross the church as well. Bring that venerable institution into it. We'd be in deep then. Damn it. Hope Dandelion gets out of this alive. And in one piece. Know what they do to bards? Break their fingers, tear out their tongues. Or both. Relax. I'll get him out of this. Gotta talk to this Horson first. And Siggy Reuven. Know where I might find them? I don't know about Horson, but Reuven runs a bathhouse. Careful, though. He's a dangerous character. So am I. I don't doubt it. But Dandelion's not. I beg you to hurry. Let me know as soon as you learn anything. Well, the bugger all to do here. Heading back to the Rosemary. Got Poppy to see. And then I suppose I'll wait. See if our warbler don't come home on his own. Take care now. Dysart. Are you here regarding the contract? Hmm. Want to hire a witcher, didn't you? I did, but not just any vagabond. One hears all manner of stories about the lunatics of the school of the cat. Which do you belong to? School of the wolf. Ah, yes. A good one. I knew a witcher of this school. Barnabas? Uh, no. So his name did begin with a B. Never mind. Uh, to the matter at hand. 
Not long past, I acquired an estate east of Novigrad. I got it on the cheap, you see. The seller was very keen to be rid of it. Now, I've learned, the building is set to be haunted. Goes to explain the seller's urgency. I do not believe in ghosts. It is that simple. But my men say the house shakes at night. Walls crumble. Why, even the floors move about. Is there anything to be done? A remedy for this? Let's talk about my reward first. I beg your pardon? Asking for coin already? But you've not done the job. Need to make sure it's worth my time. Just look at that. Arrives in Novigrad and he's off his head in minutes. Very well. How much do you believe this should cost me? Yes. Agreed. Fine. I'm willing to investigate. How do I get there? An orchard adjoins the property. The house itself you should recognize easily. Cracks cover its walls. Here's the key. And good luck. Master Dandelion's poetry. The Kingfisher Preen then fell in the latrine. Know it? Yeah. Also know the one about Princess Annie, who drowned in the River Fanny. Uh... Yes. At any rate, the Kingfisher welcomed poetry lovers with open arms. Some of the brightest stars in the literary firmament perform here. What are you serving today? Looking for a partner, wouldn't mind a round of Gwent. Then you're in the right place, friend. If you'll play now, I'll stake the unique card from my collection. Sure, let's play.
You win. Card's yours. Greetings. You here for a specific reason? Got a meeting with Rosa. A fencing lesson. Geralt of Rivia, yes? Miss Rosa stepped out for a walk. Near Temple Bridge, she said. She asked that you join her. Guess it's gonna be an interesting lesson. Thanks. What's he doing here? Come on, Roach. Guardian Regiment always accompany you on your walks? Always. Papa's orders. It's for your protection, Rosa dear. People here hate us. Why? What have I done to them? But enough about that. Soldier, you may leave. But His Excellency Ambassador Varatra said that... And this Excellency is telling you otherwise. Do you not recognize him? This is Geralt of Rivia. The best swordsman the North has ever seen. I'm safe with him. Now march off, quickly! Left, right, left, right! Finally! Let's go, Geralt. I've something I wish to show you. We were supposed to train, not go for a walk. I know, Geralt. Now stop harping on about it and let's go. Got my eye on you, my one. Here. You see, I thought that instead of training in a dank old cellar, we'd move around in the open air. A duel on a bridge, like in the novels. Now draw your sword. Only got my steel and silver swords. We should be fighting with practice weapons. We should, but you of all people ought to know. There's much more fun in doing things you shouldn't. If that's what the lady wishes, just don't want to see anyone crying later. I've a hanky for you, just in case. On guard! Shut up and fight. Ow! Ow! 
stop. I yield. You all right? Yes. The only thing you've really hurt is my pride. By the way, how do you get interested in fencing? I was bored. I've no friends here. Papa keeps me on a short lead. It's banquet after banquet after banquet. I detest banquets. <laughs> Boring conversations, terrible food, and weak booze. Exactly. At least with a sword in hand, I can have some fun. You know, blow off steam. All right, what's next? We should return. Just forgive me, Geralt. I know this might sound awkward, but would you mind turning around for a moment? My corset's shifted. It's pinching me terribly. I can understand a woman wanting to look pretty, but fighting in a corset? It slows you. Rosa? Shit, she ran off. Anything happens to her, Varatra will kill me. Need to find her. Can't be far. Seven cats is this way. Great. Girl just wants to have fun. What's he doing here? Aren't you, sweetie? And there's no telling if you'll ever get back. She's Ambassador Varatra's daughter. She's got diplomatic immunity. I don't really understand the shite you're saying. Now it's clear you love your black ones. It's no surprise, Lucas. Witches are drawn to monsters just the way things are. But this beastie... Ah, oh, we'll tend to her ourselves. Let me rephrase. Put it in words you'll understand. Piss. Off. Well, well. It's not just black ones who tell us what to do. It's witches as well. Too bad I listen to neither. Game, Lucas! Understand now why your father insists soldiers follow you around? So they can save me, as you did. No, so you won't need saving to begin with. Rosa, those humans died because of you. What of it? Do you expect me to shed a tear? Observe a minute of silence? They were dregs, they got what they deserved. Lesson's over. Remember what you've learned today. Looks like you'll be using that sword often. It's beyond me, Geralt. I don't understand you. Why concern yourself with the fate of two drunkards? The world would be a better place without... You should go home now. And take the shortest, not the scenic route. I understand. Farewell, Geralt. And good luck on the path. Move it!
Go, go. Place of power should draw from it. That's it, Roach. Let's go! Looking for Roach. No one here by that name. Anything else? I see. And behind you, that's a berry picker's camp? We're, uh, bird watchers. Let me guess. That sword's in case you run into a hornbill. No. Hornbills aren't endemic to this area. Don't migrate here, either. You blind, Hortensio! That's Geralt, old friend of mine. Come in, Geralt. Geralt of Rivia, safe and sound. Vernon Roach, Tamaria's last hope. Laugh all you want. Tamaria will rise again. Roach, I cannot abandon them. I... You can and must, because those are your orders. They'll die, please. We're done. Dismissed. What do you do here? Hunt Scoyatel? You jest, right? Who cares about the Scoyatel anymore? Temeria. That's what matters. How do you wind up here? Came with the army, of course. Its remnants. When Nilfgaard crossed the Yoruga, I dropped everything. Threw it all away to hell and rode for the front to fight the invader. Joined the second Temerian army under John Natalis. We were to stop the Black One's advance along the dull Blathana Mount Carbon line. And we did. For three days. Then they smashed us into splinters. Soon after, I heard Radovid was assembling his forces near Novigrad. That he'd promised to fight for a free north. Broke through with the remains of Natalis' army, but... But? But Radovid proved no better than Emir. So I decided I would mount my own fight. So long.
Now, witches, they can't catch the fox. This box. is all over. I aim to open a hall. Let's be wary of the other side. Come on. That's it, Roach. Greetings. Is it herbs you seek? Medicines to mute a bashful maid's inhibitions? Or a concoction to raise your own courage for a second go? That it? No other weeds or brews? Aye. One to make your hair grow. Another to do the opposite. An easer of pain, a calmer of heartburn. Tell me what ails you. Know any advanced formulae? Maybe something you could teach me? All I know, I learned from Master Gremist of Skelliger. Looking to apprentice yourself in the herbalist trade? Nah, I just want to learn something new. Call it what you will. You must sail across the Great Sea. Find the Isle of Ard Skellig. There, in the sacred grove, the learned Master Gremist will judge whether you're fit to be his pupil. Let me have a look. Yearning to play a few rounds of Gwent, that ought to set me straight.
That's it, Roach. You post the notice? I did indeed. Hands of Sidaris, mercenary captain. Know of a monster that needs slaying. You interested? What kind of monster are we talking about? If only I knew. It was like this. Got rid of it to hire me and my company, but he's been late with the pay the last weeks, and I'll be damned if we're to risk our lives for free, like hell. Couldn't agree more. But you were gonna tell me about the monster. Yes, yes. We arrived here, encamped. Then it turned out some beast prowls the area. Snatches cows and the like. Reckoned we should help the local boys, so we grabbed our weapons and set out. Me and Kurt one way, Gerd and Henk the other. Gerd and Henk never returned. Whatever it was, it got him. Jobs for a professional, clearly. So Kurt and me, we chipped in for a small reward, hoping someone's willing to help the locals avenge our comrades in the process. Awfully noble of you. Yeah. Mercenaries, we've our honor too. Well, Master Witcher, what will it be? Will you take the job? Let's talk about the reward, about how it's just not enough right now. I'd have gone to hunt the beast myself if I'd known you wanted this much. Hard luck, so be it. All right. Where do I start looking? South of here. It's where we split up. It's where we last saw Gerd and Henk alive. I got was full of cash. Come on, Roach. Look at you. Run with just a lick of gold on it. Let's dance. This means. Hmm. Strange. is completely destroyed, but the magic circle's intact. Looks to me like a locked portal. Wonder if I can open it using one of Aramis's items. <sighs> Reeks in here. was a tyromancer.
the cheeses. Lesimir will get a kick out of this when I tell him. Not sure this can get any worse. To share this discovery with Lambert. Foglets are immune to the smell of old cheese. Someone placed an illusion here. I should look around. Magic power is still active. Gotta find a way to turn it off. Nahal in his eye. Ought to use it. This sword is as deadly as Aramus's cheeses. It's worth taking. Maybe I'll name it the Emmentaler.
Fresh air, finally. me most about Novigrad. The fucking proportions. Stairs too high, chairs too narrow, tankards too small, and the wenches are too bleeding large. And when I walk down the street, I'm only ever staring at someone's ass. That particular part's not so bad. May your beard grow robust and free. <gasps> the plague! You'll die for what you've done. I've done nothing. G gentlemen, I beg you. Back off. Don't dare interfere. Mm. Please, I have a wife, children, mercy. Too late, Poisoner. You must die. What's this about? This Dwan sold Fistech to some young elves. A contaminated batch that killed every other user. Lies. They mean to kill me, steal my gold. Help me, please. What you sold was poison. Shame you weren't there to see the young lad and others expire amidst spasms. You, all of you, to an elf. You despise humans, seek vengeance on us. But can you fault us? Fault me for your civilization's downfall? Shut your mouth, Poisoner. Need to see if this man's actually carrying any fist tech. We've done that already. Checked everywhere, even his boots. Nothing. The bastard sold it all, which hardly makes him innocent. Just the sale of Fistek is bad enough, but offering contaminated powder, it's malicious. Something that has to carry punishment. No! Don't let them murder me! You can't! Thank you, Vatgern, for letting us do what was only right. Vafail. Don't like folk wandering around here. Oh yeah? Well, got a beast you need someone to get rid of? I'm here about the notice. Uh, Supervisor Lund posted it. Yeah, a beast haunts the outskirts, murdering folk. Got them scared to leave their homes after dusk. Like to talk to this supervisor. Too bad he don't receive petitioners. So what's he do exactly? Delivers relief on behalf of the city council, flour and groats for the paupers, meaning he don't do it personally. He's got men for that. He himself, he, uh... Supervisors. Exactly! I aim to hunt down this monster. Best hurry then, some other bloke's already after it. When did you find the last victim? Just last night. Hubert, a beggar, but a decent man. I'd let him sleep in his shed from time to time. That one on the right. Eustace hasn't come for the corpse yet. It's lying in there where I found it. Any eyewitnesses to these attacks? No, just the bodies. Beast appears only at night. Chooses isolated victims. Who took the contract? Didn't see the man. Was just told some brave fool turned up. 
Thanks, so long. Not the marks of a Garcane or a Flutter. sucked out. A lesser vampire? Seems like it had lost some strength, was sneaking along the shoreline. Winds howling. Tracks end here. Ought to look for prints on the other side. Not a drop of blood left in him. Gotta be an Ekimara. Show me what Greetings, Lambert. Damn, it's good to see you, Wolf. Decide to do some hunting in Novigrad? For as I remember, you never liked this city. Still don't. Thing is, I got a certain matter to take care of. What have you been up to? Any luck on the path? A lot, in fact. Quite the takings in Lan Exeter. Was asked to hunt down a giant who turned out to be a forest troll and some bandits. Bandits? Came as a package with the troll. The matter you mentioned. Anything I can help with? Hmm. Maybe. But we'll talk about that later. Got a reward to collect. I'm kinda in a hurry. Let's say you've earned half. What the hell? Let's go. So? What do you think? We did what we had to do. Time to pay up. Wait here, I'll go see the supervisor, get your reward. Do that ourselves. No reason you should abandon your post. Hmm. Hmm. Can't argue with reason. Go on in. We dealt with the monster at the docks. Here for our reward. Witches? Since when do you travel in pairs? A lot of dangers lie in wait for a lone witcher. Bandits, for example. I advise you to change your tone. Where's Yad Karadin? Talk. Who? Trust me, Geralt, this is important. There's something I gotta know. I do not know any Caradin. Take your coin for the before and bugger off. Before I lose my temper. Where's Yad Caradin? Asking you for the last time. Guards! To the dungeon with them! Oh. 
break your bones! This guy's more trouble than the Yakimara. The Karadins disappeared. I swear. The others too. Uh, I only know of Vien. What about Vien? She drinks at the Seven Cats. They're day and night. See? You can be helpful. That was murder. Was that really necessary? Yes. More guardsmen will show soon. Let's go. Meet me at the Seven Cats. I'll tell you everything there. The Tavern Vienne frequents? Yeah. See you later. What do you want? Name's Muggs. Roston Muggs. Need your help in a grave matter. What's this grave matter? I came here on business. Sadly, just there across the river. Toward the bridge's end, I was attacked. Smashed a bottle of the finest dwarven spirit on the bugger's skull. But the robbery was still a partial success. Tell me what you want already, and be brief. Thief ran off with my documents. Very important documents. I need you to get them back for me. It'll cost you. I don't work for free. That I know. Since the dawn of time, no witcher's lifted a finger without pay. I've a smatter in the coin in the soles of my boots. Return the documents, and it's yours. Fine. See what I can do. Moonshine. Nothing stinks quite like it. There's the bottle. Muggs was attacked here. Hand over the documents, thief. Me? A thief? I won him straight, I did, in a game of cards. Not how Mug sees it. Claims he was... mugged. He lost, demanded them papers back, and when I refused, he walloped me over the noggin with a bottle. Barely escaped with me life. Give me the papers. You have to. True. Definite. Well? 
found the thief who took your documents. I can't be. Let's go get him. You can hold him while I take what's mine. Slow down. See, this man said he never attacked you. Said you lost to him at cards. Ah, cheeky bastard. But like me Aunt Rosalie always said, lies got but wee legs and don't run far. The documents belong to my employer. A deed to a townhouse in Wengerberg. And true enough, I'd been drinking. Got a bit carried away. I lost them in the game of cards. Then you whacked the winner on the head with a bottle. W what was it to do? He weren't willing to give him back. When the scoundrel drew a weapon, I, I fled. But without them papers, I have neither gumption to show me face at home. Here. Now pay up. Of course I will. Give you all I've left. We'd not have it any other way. Stands on three pillars. Good food. Good you that mud cook. King. Wine. Save your mug. Wine. I want wine. Damn it. All right. High time you explained some things. Why do you kill Lund? What's this all about? Want the short version or the long one? Let me hear the whole thing. I had a friend. Aiden was his name. You had a friend? Oh, he fucking hilarious. I met him soon after I'd accepted a contract to lift the curse from the Ogre of Elander. Aiden had been hired to kill it. He was a witcher from the School of the Cat. As far as I remember, the Ogre was killed in the end. Yeah. After it gutted my employer, we really didn't have a choice. I cut a deal with Aiden. We joined forces, split the reward for killing the ogre between us. After that, we worked together a lot. Hands down the best man I'd ever met. I mean, I like you, you know that. Still, no comparison. What happened to him? Some time ago, Aiden took on a contract to lift a curse off a duke's daughter. It was a political mess from the start. Then there was hatred for the School of the Cat to deal with. They worked hard to deserve that hate. Basically turned hired assassins. Aiden wasn't like that. Anyway, some of the duke's courtiers had designs. Weren't at all keen on the curse being lifted from the duke's firstborn. So a band of trained assassins ambushed Aiden. Murdered him. Our dear supervisor was one of them. And Yad Karadin? The assassin's leader. And the one to deal the mortal blow. Sorry about your friend. Don't need your sympathy. Just your help. We have to talk to Vienne. Must have had enough to drink by now. Let's go. The end. What do you want? We want to see Yad Karadin. <laughs> now, why would I help you? It's really important to my friend here. And what will I get out of it? Pay for your beer, for starters. Then we'll see how valuable your information is. I was part of Caradin's band, but when was that? I don't know where to find him. I've fallen out with a lot. Besides, he's no longer chummy with his old mates. 
Word around town is it's changed. Keridan's changed? What do you mean? He's dropped all his old connections. Stopped taking on petty killings. He's hidden himself away in some hole. Must be planning something big. Who else was in Keridan's band? Aside from me, Sleaze, Hammond, and Lund, but they've scattered all over the world. Sleaze went to Tresigor, Hammond to Skelliger, and Lund. Lund's dead. <laughs> Finally met his match. Well, you've only Hammond or Sleaze to talk to then. This Sleaze. Where can we find her? She's done well for herself. Runs a brothel in Tresigor, the kind rich men frequent. Pours suck information out of them. Then she sells it. Name of this brothel? The Black Lily. Selyse always did have horrible taste. We need information about Hammond. Caradin's right-hand man once. When the band broke up, he went back to Pharaoh whence he had come. He's a pirate now. Even the Arles treat him with respect. What about you? What's your story? Scoyatel. Unit was decimated, so I joined Caradin. They never treated me as an equal. No. I could hit a sparrow from a hundred paces. But I was never good enough for Caradin. He always preferred that cunt Selyse. You have a hand in the murder of the Witcher, Aiden? Perhaps. I don't remember. Satisfied? She doesn't know anything. We need to talk to Hammond and Selyse. Don't go looking for Karazin. If he senses you nipping at his heels, he'll kill you without batting an eye. We'll see. As for you... No, Lambert. Right. Better to leave her like this. What about my coin? Arseholes. You gotta help me, Geralt. Best thing will be to split up. You sail to Skellige, try to squeeze something out of Hammond. I'll go to Tredegor and meet with Selyse. Where'll we meet once I'm back? At the Nowhere Inn. All right, I'm off. Good luck. How can I be? Got some coin. You come. Welcome. Welcome. Show me.
so long. There's still blood on your swords. Any need? from Skellica. They've taken over crippled Kate's. Taken over? How's that? Clobbered the innkeep, tossed out the girls, then set to drinking. They've been going since yesterday, apparently celebrating some big loot. Yeah, sounds like Skelligers. But you look to be an honest man. Help us. Drive away the hooligans. We've not much, but it'll make a tidy sum if we all pitch in. Fine. I'll see what I can do. Really? So there are good men left in the world. Sorry, mate. Gotta fill your horn elsewhere. This establishment's part of Skellige today. Seems to me we're still in Novigrad. And in Novigrad, Novigrad rules apply. Rules you happen to be breaking. Just how's that? You're not allowed to drink in peace. Have a bit of fun. Leg it, man, before you taste the wrath of a Skelliger. I'm not going anywhere, but you are. If not, I'll carry you out right after I knock you unconscious. You're threatening me? Me? Know who I am? You're Mundo Pharaoh. Never heard of you. Bleeding continental rats. Oi, mates, come here. This pip squeaks looking to get his gob walloped. Smell a card. Attack! Yeah! Fine, fine, enough! Great phrase, Tits. That sobered me up quick. Gents, let's go now. Have our fun elsewhere. Blade's not worth shining a weak arm swinging it, eh? I. Uh... Thanks so much. We'd not have managed on our own. We're not rich, but I hope this is enough. It's plenty. Farewell. Anybody there? Open up.
What's the fuss? The bathhouse is closed. Need to talk to the owner. I know he's here. I'm not sure that matters, as he's terribly busy. Tell him Geralt of Rivia wants to talk to him. I cannot promise Mr. Reuben we'll have time to see you. Wanna bed? <laughs> Very well, I shall try. Please wait. Siggy Reuven cordially invites you to join him. I'm happy. The meeting is in the baths. We will pass through the dressing room so you can leave your clothes. Let's go. You may disrobe here. Your equipment will be safe. Splendid! Siggy Reuven awaits in the next room. <laughs> you were right. And he just washed his hand, then ordered them to shove it up the corpse's ass. And then he sent the body back. Well, he was his big and He's all like a horse. <laughs> Clearly. Easy, Cleaver. Or Son Junior's a dead man. I'll have my scribe send you a notice. You don't have a scribe. And we'll eliminate Junior when, and only when, all of us say I. Reuven, your guest. Why the fuck you let him in here? Because I want to talk to him. This is Geralt of Rivia. Good to see you again. As always, I'm out of the swiving loop. Who the fuck are you? I'm a witcher. Problems with your plumbing? Nah, it's under control. Geralt's a friend from the old days. Although... Got intruders. Someone just snuck inside the bathhouse. Several men. What the fuck's he on about? Plowing fortune teller? Assassins! Bloody hell. I fucking knew it. Any weapons tucked away? Just a few. First ever party with my prick hanging out. Ah! Terribly sorry for that incident. My security failed. I'll get to the bottom of who, why, and how. They were horse son scum. That's the bottom of who and how right there. Don't start that again. Especially not in front of our guest. Who pranced in right before they attacked. Coincidence? Why do I doubt it? Let's give him a chance to explain. Not gonna introduce me to your friends? Good thing happens not here. He tanned the hide on my ass for being so rude. Francis Bedlam you know, but then who's not heard of this patron of the fine arts and supporter of entrepreneurs of limited initial means? And the dwarfs Carlo Vares, known also as Cleaver. Carlo's in entertainment. 
mostly. How are you, Reuven? Disappeared for a few years there, only to reappear here in Novigrad? Oh, I've been here, there. Spent some time in Zerakania, matter of fact. Hmm. What did you do in the desert? Sought oneness with nature. Magical place, really. But I missed civilization, so I'm back. Aim to plant roots in Novigrad, become a respected citizen. And who knows, someday, maybe even a town councillor. I'm looking for Horson Jr. Interesting. What do you want with him? It's personal. <laughs> uh, Geralt takes his privacy very seriously. Spying on him, having him followed, was a bloody nightmare. Still, <laughs> he was lots more trusted when he was looking for Marigold. Gentlemen, you out of your fucking minds? A chat session? Horse sons out to get us, and he'll succeed eventually. We've got to kill him first. So by all means, you sit here, soak, fart, and watch the bubbles rise, while I send my boys to Horse sons' hidey holes. They'll make some noise, flush the bugger out. And you, geriatric, or whatever your plowing name is, want a fine horse, son? Find me first. Any clue on Junior's whereabouts? Be grateful for any lead. Siggy? It's worth a try. Geralt's got a knack for finding people. And he's discreet, a value in itself. Leave you to it, then. I'll, uh... Looking on you tomorrow, Francis. Finish our talk. So how about we get dressed? Sure, sure. Then we'll talk. In private. Right mess that was. Never thought I'd be glad to see the man responsible for my taking frequent baths. If you're any cleaner for it, gotta say it was worth breaking your ankle. It healed poorly. Can you believe it? I must soak it in hot water at least six times a day now. Failing that, it bloody pounds like the bells of Beauclair at dawn. I had my reasons. Your leg would be fine if you hadn't gotten in my way. I see. Well, I promise you that if I could go back in time, I'd do things quite differently on Thanid. For example, I'd have my men kill you instead of just tying you up. Listen, Reuven. No, Dijkstra. Just not in the mood for your code names, passwords, and other bullshit. I'm here on specific business. If you want to listen, listen. If not, I'd rather you spared me your wit and threw me out now. Ah, uh, what's the harm? Talk. You think Cleaver will find Horson? He might. He might not. But he'll burn down half the city trying. What waste. Leave him to it, I say. Work alone. Any ideas? Junior's got areas of the city where he's strong. Penetrate them, look around, but be discreet. None of this speed and fury and swinging your steel cock about. Pretty clear you and Bedlam don't want a war with Junior. Why? Let me tell you what I told King Vizimir time and time again. War doesn't solve any problems. It breeds trouble. Trouble you then have to solve by other means. Make no mistake, someone's behind Horson's actions. I'll not end him until I know who. Your partner's aware of your past? They know you're Sigismund Dijkstra, former head of Redanian intelligence? <laughs> Cleaver, Bedlam and Junior. Well, I'd call them my partners if we'd built a mill to grind flour for the folk of nearby hamlets. But we just need to stay out of each other's ways, agree from time to time. That doesn't make us partners. Do they know who I am? Was. Bedlam, sure. The others most likely suspect. But we just don't talk about it. No need to. Hmm. Makes sense to ask around, I guess. Junior might be in hiding, 
but he's got to be collecting income. Couldn't afford to cut himself off. Gambling. That's his big earner. Junior controls the largest casino in town. I'll never forget. Hierarch Hemelfart raised all kinds of hallowed hell there once. Bugger bet and lost his ruby ring. Then there's the arena in the city's bowels. Betting scheme generates near as much as the casino. They're always looking for hired muscle there. Suppose you could always search Horson's house. Though I doubt you'll find him there. Maybe some clue, though. Where's Junior's casino? Near the Temple Watch Towers. Horson's got nought to do with a casino officially, so careful what you say. Try not to arouse any suspicions. Arena sounds promising. Where's that? Sewers beneath Gildorf, but you'll have to enter through the bits. Endure the stench of poverty on the way. Now, Junior loves a good fight. Wager he'd give a lot to see a real witcher in action. Mentioned Horson's got a house. Where is it? Solid townhouse on Temple Isle, just on the other side of the bridge. Wouldn't wager me knickers on finding him there. Junior's not that stupid. See if I can't find Horson at the casino or the arena. Might talk to Cleaver as well, though. Do what you will. Just be cautious. Horson's expecting payback, I've no doubt. Thanks for your help, Dijkstra. Just go, Witcher. And if you can't find the slimy bastard, come and see me. I know him well. Might figure something out. You in contact with Radovid? <laughs> see, you're as witty as ever. No, I'm not in contact with him. I prefer it remain that way. Never quite forgave you for conspiring with Philippa Eilhart? Radovid doesn't forgive. Not anything. Not anyone. And especially not the sorceress of the Lodge. Philippa Eilhart. Had any news? Just good. Meaning? After Radovid popped her eyes out, she disappeared without a trace. If I've any luck, she's finally eating dirt. Thought you two were close. We were, until Philippa sent assassins after me. From Master Spy to Master Criminal. Interesting progression. Why? Truth be told, they're awfully similar. Both about maintaining a net of informers, being tough in negotiations, bribing officials, the occasional assassination. Same old shit. Yeah. Except you used to do that in the name of some ideal. And now? Now I've decided I've slaved enough for ideals. It's time I worked for myself, and thus far, it's been going rather well. Listen, Dandelion's missing. Any idea what might have happened to him? Same thing that happens to anyone who steps on Junior's toes. Meaning? He's surrounded by splendid virgins who ply him with sparkling wine and pastries stuffed with Nightingale's tongues. Come, Geralt, what do you think's happened to him? I reckon he's at the bottom of the pontar, trussed up with the strings of his own mandolin. Loot. Far as I'm concerned, he might as well be rotting down there with a goddamn trombone. You wouldn't happen to have a bone to pick with Dandelion, would you? Course I do. You serious? Dead serious. Dandelion published a sonnet recently. Second stanza, the shit uses paired couplets instead of an inserted rhyme. Surely you understand how deeply offended the poetry lover in me was. The bastard shan't get away with it. I was being serious. As am I when I say I have exactly no time to worry about your gigolo boyfriend. Got me own problems. Problems you might be able to help me with. And if you did... Why, then I might be inclined to ask after Dandelion, establish what happened to him. I'll get paid on top of that, right? Nothing for free, eh? Did you bargain this hard when Emma wanted to hire you? Who told you? What do you mean, who? Emma did. Ha <laughs> ha.
I could never reveal my sources to you or anyone else. It would be fucking unprofessional. But we've chatted enough. Yeah, I'll pay you. Count on it. So, can I count on you? Maybe I can help. What do you need? I'd rather show than tell. Picture's worth a thousand words and all that tribe. Ah, and you do realize, if you say anything about what you see here to anyone, it'll mean a razor between your ribs. Figured as much. Excellent. One last request. Oh, let's call it what it is. A command. Don't draw your sword unless I ask you to. So kind as to follow me. Stop that! Now! Bart! Bart! Bart makes Ziggy lose, Jonathan! Beating your head against the wall won't change that. Bart hurt! Bart less thinky! Bart less thinky! Bart sadless! Where'd you get the troll? From Zerikania. Won him. Card game with a camel merchant. Your jokes are getting better by the minute. See me smiling? I'm dead serious. But I bumpy horses. Hot there. Ziggy Bart take. Good Ziggy. Don't seem to have trouble communicating with the troll. Why'd you bring me down here? Take note of that hole. We'll come back to it later. And see that door? Vault behind it, until recently filled with Novigrad crowns and countless other valuables. But God! Then boom! Chorfun go! Translating into common, someone fucking made off with nearly 20 tons of my gold and all the lighter stuff. And you will help me get it back. Why don't you handle this? Gotta have connections in the underworld. What do you need a witcher for? <sighs> the gold wasn't mine alone. See, I run a members-only savings club, a bank for the initiated. For reasons that should be obvious, I prefer it if my temporary liquidity problems remained private. So I need an outsider. How do you know you can trust me? I don't. Counting on your survival instinct. Slip up. And I'll kill you. Feed you to Bart. Bart, sorry. Bart jumped that god. Fine. I'll help you. You're not exactly bursting with enthusiasm. Witcher mutations. They strip us of emotion. I'd be jumping for joy otherwise. All right. Ought to look around. But first, some questions. I'm all ears. Anyone see what happened? Other than Bart, no. And the vault's location is known only to the treasure's co-owners. Well, and the thieves. What about upstairs? Anything unusual happened in the bathhouse the day of the break-in? No. Happen swears it was calm as ever. The usual customers, no incidents. Bloody bucolic. How much was it all worth? Got an approximate idea? Why the fuck do you care? Figuring your finder's fee. Don't get your hopes up. Know you too well for that. 
just prefer to know what I'm looking for. Three crates of Nilfgaardian florins, a chest of emeralds, rubies and topazes, silver candlesticks and platters. I could go on. Shiny Jorfun. Oh, God. Take it the thieves got in through the hole behind you. You're a regular fucking master sleuth. Any other brilliant deductions you want confirmed? The year, maybe? Bloody name of Redania's king? No, but I am wondering, for instance, how that hole got there. Hole no. Boom. Hole. Bad look won't go. Bad look no. Only sleep. Bad shoes. Head full. Boom. Can you elaborate? Boom! Big. Uh, this like. I'll elaborate. Explosion. Big enough to blow that fucking hole in the wall, separating the vault from the sewers. Gotten pretty good at communicating with this troll. Lots of prior experience. Worked with idiots my whole life. Bad mushrooms? What's that about? Pops mold. The spores are highly toxic. One whiff and you're dead. Unless you're a troll, that is. Yes. But. But. Troll. Not talking to you, dimwit. Where was I? Ah, mold spores. They cover the walls of the sewers other side of the vault. Actually thought it was a good thing, you know? A bit of extra protection. Thieves found a way through it. Bart, you see them? Bart, through hole. Once see, boom, got what? Breathe, shroom. Sleep, go. Jorfun, gone. Bad troll. Now, now, stiff up a lip. Try to track down the thief yourself? Of course. Hired this lummox, Fonts, thick enough not to ask questions. We knocked back some pops antidote and entered the sewers. Soon after, I returned alone. What happened? Lad started belching something horrendous. I mean, burps with so much mass the walls shook. Told him, Fonts, stop. You're in the presence of a count. Well, former count, but still. And then he puked up. Up came most of the antidote. Lost his protection. Tried to pull him out. Then I heard a bubbling. Something crawled out of the water. I value the lives of my men, I do. But I value me own even more. Dropped fonts and ran like hell. Mind describing this something that crawled out of the water? No. Doesn't mean I can, though. Air in the sewers thick with spores. Can hardly see a thing down there. Must have noticed something. Was it... No! Didn't notice a fucking thing. Didn't do a taxonomic field analysis either. I know it's an inconvenience to you, but I felt I should get the hell out of there as fast as I could. Should look around the sewers. Got any more of that Pops antidote? Have a few vials left. Got the formula too. Disgusting swill, to be honest. But it'll save your life. Here. Thanks. You've naught to thank me for, literally. You're no good to me if you suffocate. Listen, I'll be upstairs if you need me. Sight of this empty vault's giving me an ulcer. Good luck to you. Dandelion, what the hell have you gotten yourself into? It just curled out. Something inside blew it wide open. Wall too. Hmm. Bathhouse drain pipes seem to converge here. Pipes great. Explosion crumbled it like a piece of paper. And there's mortar on the bars. So it was in place at the time of the explosion. Blast tore it from the wall. No traces of magic. This was no spell. It was a bomb. Now why am I not finding pieces of it?
Could be the current swept them away. Ah, uh, and I thought Witcher's potions were vile. Bits of pipe clear over here. Must have been one powerful blast. Fine grating. Couldn't push much through that. That's dance. Of course. Dijkstra didn't mention anyone else. Must be one of Dandelion's crew. Vomit everywhere. Guess he had the antidote too. Couldn't keep it down any more than the other guy. Need to burn the corpses. Otherwise, Draenors will never stop congregating. Getting close. cylinder most likely. Runes etched in the bottom. It's warped, probably by the explosion. Bomb part. Must be. Smells like wyvern oil and caramel. That'd be it down here. Time to see Deke's old coin. Trail ends here. Dandelion must have loaded the treasure onto a boat. Hey, Bart. Got a minute? Minute? But no minute, Scott. But Rock, Scott? Rocks want? I mean a minute to talk. You mean? But nice. One more time. Can we talk? Siggy, you like. Talk me with. Anything suspicious happened before the robbery? Suspicious. But no understand. Something not normal. Something strange. Maybe you saw, felt, heard something? Yeah. Yeah. But here. Uh, like uh, a piece. What kind of hissing was it? Like a snake? No. A piss odor. Not animal or that. Right. So, like what? Like... Uh, rock? A hissing rock. Mm -hmm. The hissing. Where did it come from? But... His here... In love tree. What? Where? Where? But turdy dump. All right. Let's change the subject. Good. But time got. Chorfon go. But God, now nothing. Why do you like Siggy so much? Siggy good. Siggy can't take part. He locked you up, alone, underground. Don't get bored down here? 
Not much to do. When, but, not much do. But, think. Lots. What about, if you don't mind my asking? Rocks. Rocks? Rocks, interesting. Uh, thanks for your help. So long. Mm. Long. 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 Got a minute? I do. What do you want? Done. Examined every nook of the sewers near your vault. Well, learn anything? Found a second corpse. One of the thieves. Threw up the antidote just like your man Fonts. A beautiful death. Anything on the body? Not much. Empty vial. Hmm. Wouldn't have left him behind if he was anybody. Common porter, must be. Knew nothing, means nothing. Dead end. Literally. Bits of treasure dropped out of the crates. Left a clear trail. You know, like the fairy tale, with the crumbs. Hmm, another one. Hansel, Gretel, burning witches. Very fitting for Novigrad. Trail leads to the river where the sewer lets out. Breaks off there. My bet? They loaded the treasure onto a boat. Yeah. A cart drawn by sewer rats does seem unlikely. And since boats don't leave trails, it amounts to fuck all. Seems to me a bomb blew the wall open. Look. Bottom of a silver cylinder, probably. Covered in runes. Interesting. Any idea what it contained? Recognized some ingredients by their scent. Wyvern oil and sugar. Sugar? Geralt, I'm in no mood for jests. Nor am I. Just saying what I found. Bomb contained sugar. Let's think. Sugar would react violently with sulfuric acid, but not so violently to cause an explosion. Didn't know you were versed in alchemy. Dabbled in it a bit, while at Oxenford Academy. But this is no time to reminisce. You're to find my treasure, not write my biography. Know anything else about this bomb? Anything at all? Bomb went off inside a drainage pipe embedded in the vault wall. But the grate at the end of the pipe was in place when the blast happened, meaning... The bomb must have found its way into the pipe from inside the bathhouse. Exactly. Might have gone something like this. Perpetrator started emptying one of the pools then dropped the bomb down the drain. The bomb flowed down with a runoff, came to rest on the grate, and, to quote Bart, big boom. Drain pipes are only promising lead. We just need to know which pool it's connected to. Yes. Atom keeps a record of guests. Should be able to tell us who used that pool the day of the break-in. You've not done badly. Feel honored to be acknowledged. Oh, that famous sarcasm. I missed it. Really? Hmm. About as much as I'd miss a knife in me knickers. All right. You inspect the pools on the right. I'll take the ones on the left. Holler if you find anything. Something floating on the surface. Oil, looks like.
silver lid matches the cylinder bottom I found in the sewer. Dijkstra, come here. Got something? Yeah, bomb part. Happen. Drain pool four, and bring me the guest book. Chop, chop. By the way, what about Happen? Could have overheard you mention the vault, has access to the bathhouse whenever he wants. Happen has numerous flaws. He's pompous, pretentious, can be a real prick sometimes, ironic as that may sound. But his loyalty is beyond question. How can you be so sure? Witches know their monsters, spies know their men. You trusted Philippa Eilhart once too. True. But I didn't pull Philippa Eilhart out of a Kaviri prison the night before her execution. Let's see what's on the bottom. Grate's been removed from the drain, meaning they flushed the bomb down here. Happen? Who used this pool the day of the break-in? Let me see. Uh, Bertolt Heinz, town councilman, Josef Schweik, brewer, and Margrave Henkel. Henkel? That's impossible. Impossible? Why? Old Coach been eating dirt since last winter. Couldn't have been here the day of the break-in. He's dead. I've not heard. Not surprising. The Honourable Margrave croaked in a brothel, decked out in leather lingerie, so the family held a hush-hush funeral. But I have my sources. Yeah. Yeah, I saw him that fateful day, Mr. Reuven. I'm certain of it. Did you speak to him? Get a good look at him? No. He merely passed by on the way in. So you didn't see Henkel. You saw an impersonator. Think for once. They scooped out your balls, not your brain. And you, Geralt, start looking into this. Gotta ask me nicely. I'm not one of your delivery boys. Pardon my tone. I've grown accustomed to ordering folk around and barking as I do it. Fine. Where should I start? Henkel's home. Derelict townhouse south of the main square. You might happen on some trace of this scoundrel we're looking for there. Well, off with you! <laughs> 